this was a really fun deck that I ran into uh, where it was a Dark World build. And I liked it. I liked it so much because I always get hyped over uh, decks that pour, uh, perform very well with Dark World. I think it's a really fun build uh, to mess around with. But I was very impressed with how this guy played. So I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. Yeah, and I'm all about that. If you guys know me, I love seeing what duelists come up with. That's why Yu-Gi-Oh! is so much fun. It's the deck crafting that is one of the biggest reasons why I like it so much. Yes, I know. You're probably shocked to see me playing meta. I get it. Uh, I don't do that very often. <laughs> <It's so laughs> but I do know how to play meta if I want to. Now, in the TCG, uh, Tri Brigade is not meta at all right now. You know, all the hype is Sword Soul, uh, Despia, um, and I even see some a uh, agent stuff out there that's going around. Okay, but notice I love this card, number 60. What a house. You skip your next draw phase, but you get to draw two. And then you discard, getting the advantage, because all the Dark World cards want to go to the grave. And so I was just really impressed with how well this guy swarmed the field. I mean, I just thought to myself, man, this guy is on top of it. What a build. Because there's just so much consistency here. Okay, so notice I have to get rid of a card. Now, that actually works because I want Kit to go to the grave. So that's a good thing for me. So Kit's going to resolve first, so that leads to Nerval going. Nerval's effect's going to go off, which gives me Karas. You know, so not bad. But he had the Triple Tactics talent set. So then he gets a draw of two anyways. So he gets that Pot of Greed moment. Hand Destruction. I thought, oh my god gosh i couldn't believe that's what he went with now i knew he's specialing off graph there so i was like oh yeah oh wait that is that graph no that's a different one yeah sorry so he's special summoning so that does give me a card now i thought to myself "Ooh, that's a pretty good card and then i saw her and i'm like no 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 no, no. i don't want that girl on the field because all she leads to is problems for me okay so there's the ip mascarena Okay, it does give me a card because it's another special. So I do have really good cards here, but this is a problem having that. I don't want that card on the field because that just leads to nothing but no special summoning for me. Now, notice this though, the Nightmare Griffin. I'm like, seriously? <laughs> I could not believe that. But I got a big hand here off that Max C. And I also get to use Chicken Game. Okay, so... <laughs> Now, I had to laugh when I saw this, the Vanity's em Emptiness. I'm like, oh, that's fine, because you're going to lose it right there anyways. And that's my way to handle her. I have to do everything in main phase two. Now, I do go ahead and use the Lightning Storm here, popping everything. Special summon the Kaiju, and then there's the Surrender. But I wanted to show you guys, I thought it was a unique build, and I'd be really curious what you guys thought of it too. So let me know in the chat, do you think that's something with potential? And if so, what would you do different based on what you saw? Uh, again, I'll show the deck profile here so you can see it. Because I thought it was a strong build. You know, you've got uh, this card, oh, the Corruptor. Okay, but you've got all your major stuff here. Of course, he's playing the danger stuff because he wants to discard. But I thought, yeah, you know, this this is interesting. And to me, I really felt like it had potential. Uh, I get why Eldritch is here, it's super powerful, but at the same time, he didn't really run a lot of the Eldritch stuff with it, uh, which I think would have definitely been helpful. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, possibly, Jay. Right now, I'm catching up on just a few things uh, with some replays, but yes, I'd be uh, definitely interested.